How's it going everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. You join me at You Pull and Save in Pontiac, Michigan because this got posted on there yesterday. So I dropped everything today. Came out here because my front bumper and hood are super messed up from rock chips. So I'm halfway through grabbing this stuff right now, but I figured I'd shoot a little video for you guys, show you around the yard a little bit because they have some super cool stuff here all the time. So I'm going to grab this bumper. I think I'm going to grab this headlight too. Let me turn you around here. I think I'm going to grab this headlight too because it's super clear. Uh, but this car was definitely in an accident at some point because this headlight is super foggy. But the reason it's here in the first place is... Yeah. Here's the bad corner. So like I said, grabbing this mint hood, grabbing the bumper, and my car is going to look so much better with these on it. Only downfall is it has a couple holes for a front plate, but I can get over that. It's way better than rock chips. So I'm going to get to it. I'll update you when I have the parts off. All right, I just pulled the bumper off. It looks really good besides these two little holes here, and then it's cracked right here at the bottom. But if I showed you mine, you would understand why I'm grabbing this. And it's also missing these little uh, parking lights, but luckily I have those so I can just put mine in. So now I'm going to grab the hood, but I might run this out to my car real quick. Uh, before I come back. Actually, I'm going to grab this headlight first and then run out to the car and then come back and grab the hood. Also, I'm happy because this hood, well, whoever owned this car before, sort of modified their little uh, clip that holds the hood prop in place because these break all the time. And this is like a $40 piece to get OEM from Toyota. So that's awesome as well. I can't wait to have a hood that stays open by itself again. All right, the headlight is now out. I had to watch a YouTube video to figure out how to do it. And if you're wondering, if you have an IS300, the easiest way is just to pull back the fender liner a bit right here. And then you see those two holes right there, that little strip of metal. The light is actually bolted into those, and there's really no way to get it unless you uh, go through the fender liner. So that's the easiest way I found. So I'm going to take the stuff back to the car, and then I'm going to come back and grab the hood. First load of parts is in the car. I'm back to grab the hood. I stacked up like a door panel and some hubcaps in there to keep the hood open while I am uh, unbolting it because I don't want it to be all the way open. So this is my way of doing this. Write down in the comments if I'm an idiot, but this is how I thought of doing it. So I'm gonna take the four bolts off, slide the hood off, hopefully right onto the wheelbarrow. So we'll see how this goes. And that is it. Obviously I couldn't film myself taking this off because I'm here alone because no one wanted to come help me. Anyways, uh, four bolts, pretty simple. Slid right off, or it didn't slide right off, I had to hook it off onto the wheelbarrow here. If you know me, I'm not a very big guy, so it probably looked pretty silly. But I think I've got everything I need off this. I'm gonna do one more little walk around and see if there's anything else I need to grab off of it. But it has been a very successful day. I just finished up putting all the parts into, well, I was gonna say my car, but I borrowed my mom's car for the day so I could get all this stuff. But now I'm gonna take you for a little walk around the yard, show you some of the cool stuff here. And then later on, I'll probably make an install video of putting the new front bumper and hood on. Here's one worth stopping for, an E38 BMW, seven series with the 4.4 yep, liter V8. Let's see how the interior is on it. Not too bad, wow, that's hot. Not too bad. It smells like cigarettes in there, but. It's definitely some usable pieces. And it is the 2001 as well, because you can see it has the clear taillights that go all the way across the top. It's got some interesting aftermarket wheels on it as well. Sometimes it makes me sad to see stuff like this in here, but I mean, it's pretty much totaled right there. And then you got to think, you know, one dies and it saves a hundred others. Here's another interesting one, a Mark V GTI. Let's take a look in here. Ooh, that's dreadful with the wow mint condition plaid seats looks like it's got the DSG oh, this thing's super nice inside it wasn't an accident so that makes sense insurance company probably totaled it out and that's how it ended up here a lot of good parts left on this still yeah this would be great you know if you got a rabbit or just a regular golf and you want some plaid GTI seats this would be the perfect donor car and here's a Mark III GTI with some pretty cool interior as well. I've never seen that. Don't know how rare that is. Might even be worth grabbing, honestly, if I had room. <laughs> Another cool one here. This is a Mercedes 190E. 
with an interior I've never seen before. It's kind of like a cloth. Whenever I see these, they have leather interior, so that's interesting. I don't know if the seats are usually that bolstered either. And it's a four-speed manual. I don't know how rare this is, because like I said, every time I see a 190E, they have leather, but super interesting. All right, and that is the end of the video right there. After I got done looking at that 190E, I went back to the IS, grabbed a couple more things like floor mats for my buddy Eric's IS, and then the little uh, center cup holder divider, which if you have an IS, you know that those are super hard to come by. So I got all the parts back to the house, the hood, bumper, everything, and I will be posting a video soon of me installing all those parts and a little how-to, I guess, so if you ever rack your IS 300 or whatever and need to replace the front end, you'll know how. So thanks so much for watching. I'm going to up my game with videos. I know that I said however long ago in one of the descriptions that I was going to be posting every Tuesday and Friday until the end of time. I want to make that true this summer. I hate the excuses of not having enough time to make videos because there's always enough time to make a video no matter what's going on. So uh, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.